Welcome back to the last mystery box. It is mystery box number four. All the items that I knew I was getting, I have unwrapped and opened already in the previous video. So hopefully you go back and watch them. They're very in length in time, but not too long. I think they average about nine, ten minutes each. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have been watching and you've liked, comment, shared, and subscribed. Uh, and you're enjoying it so far. If you're still watching now, you must be enjoying it. Don't forget we are looking at possibly doing a giveaway for this. Uh, if we get enough subscribers, possibly, I think about 25 subscribers, uh, likes, and then we might pick someone out of random to send this little cool Monopoly thing. If you're a fan of Monopoly, I'm sure you'll love it. It's a little wind-up car, wind-up racer, so I'm not entirely sure how it works because it's in the box, so if you watch the previous videos, you know if they haven't been opened, I don't open them. So, unless I really, really want to, but majority, nine and a half times out of ten, I don't. So, we're going to get into the last and final mystery box out of it. Uh, as it does, I go over this way. Something new comes over this way. Uh, not Batman related, but a slinky dog. Uh, slinky since 1945. Of course, if you watch Toy Story movies, you'll know all about that. It has been... Opened a little bit, I think. I'm not too sure. There is some tape in areas and no tape in others. So very classic, old school toy. Uh, never actually had one growing up. Did have a slinky, had a couple of different ones. But of course, yeah, made famous from the Toy Story movies and out of the classic slinky. So very cool little thing. Uh, not too sure I would do. Might do a giveaway of this as well. Might do a few giveaways, who knows. Uh, quite a cool little toy, uh, classic toy out of it. So I'll just put that over to the side here and try not to break anything while I do it. Uh, hopefully you don't mind me ducking out of the video. But we do have this one up next. And it is a Batman dinner set. So very cool little things. Little single dinner set. So that will stay in the video. Uh, uh, in the box, quite cool there. So it's got the old knife, fork and spoon cup. And might have a place, I'm trying to see what it actually says that it has has a ceramic mug, plates, knife, fork and spoon in it. So very cool, hope you enjoy it and you'll love it. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what your favourite so far has been out of any of the other boxes. Or even out of this box, what your favourite is. We'll put this over to the side here. Again, try not to break anything. And then we pop up to over here. And this is quite good. It actually goes, I opened up one last week. Uh, shame it was the cowboy guy, so this actually goes with it. So it is a wee bit of a, see, a little bit of damage to the packaging, but not too bad. It is Mr. Freeze, classic one. Uh, I think some Midtown Comics by the looks. And of course still has that little, cool little label up top there. So very cool. And as I say, on the back, there's a whole bowl more to collect. Got two so far. Mystery boxes, I don't know how many inches in each box. Don't know what's in it, so there might be another one or two, who knows. But that is very cool. So we'll be keeping that one as well as the shame one from last week, I think it was. Very cool little detail as well. So we'll just put that over to the side here with the shame one. I might show you at the end what it is. And here's another non-Batman, but it is Wacky Wobbler Bowlhead. So, of course, the Big Mac Cop, if you remember the 80s and 90s little cartoons that they used to do. So that one. Uh, used to chase the Hamburglar, of course, all the time. So very cool little piece. We might be doing a giveaway sell or something with that. So from Funko, uh, and of course, North Creek Parkway. Uh, so, oh, so very cool. Not too sure when that is from. Doesn't have a year on it, but quite a cool little piece. So they do have a whole collection of them. See on the side there and side there. So we'll move that over to the side. And we'll wait for the next one to pop up. We've got some small things. I uh, just saw a lady selling a whole pile of these uh, on Facebook, I think it was not long ago, so quite cool to actually have a couple of them. Uh, I'll be keeping these for sure. They'll go on the thing there. I have added a couple of the other ones on it, so we'll be putting those two Batman ones there. Just put it down in front of the camera. You won't see it, but I know that there. I get cool seeing them every time. Uh, we've got some Batman, the chest pieces. I did get the whole set of these. Uh, it took a while to collect, but... A few of them got broken, so it's good to get some updated ones that aren't broken, uh, just so I can start rebuilding them. I've got the chessboard as well. Can't remember how to uh, uh, pull it apart so it's still all one piece, but that is quite cool. 
Lil Raj Al Ghul, played very nicely by Liam Neeson in the movies. One of my favourite characters and very nicely done in it. Of course, if you watch the Gotham TV series, also played in that. I can't remember who played him, but that is very cool there. So we'll put that over to the side. And next one, we have a little tin sign, the Batman classic logo. Very cool. I want to get a Batman tattoo done. Just trying to find the logo I want to get. So that is quite cool. Uh, this is all the way from Oklahoma City. So very cool. Hobby Lobby open road brands. Designed in the United States. Made in China. Of course, very cool thing there. Absolutely love that. So that will be going up on one of the shelves here. You'll see a few of the items from past videos up there as well. They haven't decided what I'm doing with yet. But they're very cool. So we'll put this off to the side. And we will wait for the next item to magically appear. And we have... The uh, Batman uh, Batmobile uh, Joker car. This time it is the Joker Mobile from Batman issue 37 uh, from King's Comics, it looks like it's from. Do have a whole pile of these downstairs. Uh, didn't quite get the full set because uh, it ended up not being able to afford it, but very cool little thing there. Hopefully, you enjoy that. You can see a little scene in the background. So, if you've got the set, I'd uh, love to see a picture of all the cars together if you've done it. If not, very cool, but it is Joker, so might end up giving this one away or selling it, depending on if I've already got it or not. Uh, so let's move on to the next one. We've got another chess piece, of course, Batgirl. Uh, they're very cool. Red and black, best colours ever go Canterbury. And very nicely done. The detail on these pieces is incredible. Uh, I think it's Eagle Moss is the one that did the chess set in the month. I think it's fortnightly actually magazine, so very cool and little details. She's got little uh, throwing batterings there. A very cool little piece. I have to check if I've still got that one, if it's damaged or not, then I might replace it. And now up now we've got the McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Of course, we all remember the classic Happy Meal toys from years gone by. They don't really make them as cool anymore, but now I've, I'm pretty sure I do have this one somewhere up here. Uh, might be somewhere, as I say, I've got that much all around. I have to check through. So, a little penguin one. Uh, hopefully, you can see that quite well. And it has the spinning umbrella. I think it spins it as you push along, if I remember right. And then this one, we have the Joker. Uh, it's from the Batman Cartoon series. There's four in this set. And if I remember right, the head pops up and down as you push it along as well. Very cool little Batman. And I've got a whole box of old school Happy Meal uh, and the Burger King and a few of the other toys still in their packaging from way back when. So I kept them on the packaging just because I didn't want to open them. Uh, not really for any other reason, but probably just too lazy. So let's get on to the next one. We have this. Uh, very cool, the original Adam West and Bert. I still can't remember his last name. Uh, so it is a tin, it's like a license plate sign. Uh, Batman and Robin Adventure, you'll never forget Untold Tales of the Bat Signal. So a little bit, it's got to actually stick on the back, so I might end up putting that on something and hopefully it will stick nicely. Maybe on the shelf up here or something, we'll see how that goes. Maybe even up there, that way it does it. Something where it's not blocking what you can see behind me. Uh, don't forget, if you want to see anything that's up behind, feel free to let me know in a little video. Did a little list on it. And then here we have uh, Joker playing cards by the looks, Dark Knights. Uh, like the other set I got, which is the Batman Villain, I haven't decided if I'm going to open, but I probably am going to open that set. This one, I don't know, I might open it just to see what the cards actually look like, if they all look like uh, Heath Ledger's Joker or not. Very cool, still in the plastic, still in the wrapping, so a little, nice little tin there, I'm sure you can hear the tapping, yeah, so it keeps it safe. And this came out, just trying to see if I can find a year doesn't say what year it came out, so I'm not too sure. There is a way to tell with the barcode, but I can never remember which way it is. But that is very cool. Don't know what I'll do with that one. I might open it and see first, and then go from there. So we'll put that down there, and magically, the next item is going to appear right there. Uh, very cool how it's done. And this goes with the Mr. Freeze and uh, Shame set. And this one is Dick Grayson, who, of course, we all remember is Robin, the original Robin. So this is without the costume, of course. Don't really need to tell you, but another one that has a little sticker there. Cool detail, and I'm sure if you remember, I said about the tops always being slightly too big for the figures. Uh, another little thing as well. Um, 
very cool so now that's i think three out of the set and as you see how many there is to the set in the back so so it looks about what, four seven eleven fifteen in the set and i've got three so a few to go i don't know the packaging is actually really good condition in this one so very cool i might end up trying to find the red there's a few other ones to go with it too so not sure, there was one, I think it was in the first video, that might have been the guy that was wondering who it was with the Batman comic that was set in London, Batman 66 I think it was. So, very cool, absolutely loving this, so, not too sure, as I say, the values I'm not too worried about, so I don't really get it for the value side of it, but uh, I did get it just because they're kind of cool. And then these, I'm not too sure what those are, these are Pac-Man. Uh, as you can see, obviously, from there. Uh, just move that closer to the camera. You can see a little thing. Not too sure if the lolly tins or if they're just tins. Just trying to have a read. Uh, it looks like they uh, have got lollies in them. So kind of cool. Um, Some will probably do a giveaway or sell. I'm not a big Pac-Man fan. I like playing the game, but not really my thing. So if you're interested, feel free to send me a message or anything like that. And say, so, happy to sell these or even do giveaways. Who knows? Might see, have a talk and chat about that, but very cool. Something a little different. You don't really see a lot of candy and lollies done in different styles now. I don't know if that's rules, laws, and all that sort of thing, or just no effort put into it. But that is those. So, and we're going to have the next thing to pop up right there. Very cool. Love how it does. It magically appears. Uh, this is an epic game of strategy, like the strategy game I got before. The battle for Gotham City begins here. Uh, bat single shares, uh, looks like a normal board game, sort of like Ludo, all that, Cluedo, that sort of thing. So very cool, it's got Batarang tokens, loving that idea. And also the little figures we'll show on the back, has little pieces there. If you want to see the set up, feel free to leave a comment and like, I'm happy to set it up and send, show pictures. Uh, or do a video, maybe a gameplay video, who knows, something like that. But very cool, you see all the classic villains on the front, of course. So very cool little effort there. So I think that is the last item in the Batman mystery boxes. Uh, so that is all up. Uh, I will show you the three ones that I was talking about before. With the Batman action figures that I got in. That one was, I think, the first one I got. So it was, of course, a shame. Then we got Mr. Freeze with the slightly damaged packaging. But no biggie. And then we got the Dick Grayson. So, of course, he... There is another one of him as Robin, so we might keep an eye out for that. I am going to keep these just because they come in a set and I love collecting sets. Uh, I'm sure you'll see from one of these, I always have sets of things. Got some very cool things. So if you do like these, let me know uh, your favourite. I have a figure coming that I'm going to do a figure video for from Pop Guardian. It is uh, Batman. We stay in its packaging like a lot of these ones. Just because I think the cooler when they sound in packaging, less likely to get damaged, that sort of thing, and less likely to get broken. So that will be the probably the next video I do, unless you guys leave enough comments and likes and messages saying that you want to see something set up like the Batman slot car set from video one, uh, well video two, video one of the mystery boxes, and all the all the other stuff. If you want any in depth looks and views, feel free to comment like and subscribe below and we'll see what we can do we can work something out happy to do some more videos uh if there's anything you can do better feel free to let me know on that as well but until next time uh be the same back time same back channel hopefully you enjoyed like subscribe comment share and until next time uh catch you later